OK, so in this problem, we've got uh, a position time graph. OK, now it's not displacement time. OK, you've got to be careful. It's position time in this case. Um, it won't make a whole lot of difference, but you'll see kind of like as we go through a couple of these examples that there's a couple of things you just need to be aware of. So first of all, the uh, initial and final positions of the particle. Well, initially, the particle is here. Time zero position is zero. So initial would be zero meters. And the final position, well, it's five meters away from where it originally started. OK, so it would be minus five meters. The total displacement, well, as it's moved, it's gone 10 metres this way and then back 15 metres this way. So actually, the minus 5 metres that we got from the previous question is precisely the same as the total displacement. OK, 5 metres away from the original starting position. The total distance travelled, well, we've gone 10 metres in the first two seconds, OK, stayed at that position for three seconds and then have gone 15 metres back. So the total distance would be 10 metres and then another 15, so 25 metres in total. The velocity and speed for each part of the journey, well, if we look at the first part of the journey, OK, if we look at velocity and speed, Okay, so for that first section, uh, it's the uh, 10 divided by 2. Okay, 10 divided by 2 there. So it'd be 5 meters per second for both uh, velocity and speed for that first section. Uh, for this section, we've got, um, well, it's going to be zero, isn't it? I mean, they stayed at the same position. So it's zero meters per second for both of those. But for the third and final section, um, we've got, uh, for the velocity, going from 10 down to minus 5, so minus 15 divided by 3, OK? So that would be minus 5 metres per second. But the speed is that they've gone 15 metres in 3 seconds, and so it would be 5 metres per second, OK? So you can see that actually the speed is the magnitude of the velocity each time. It ignores the negative. Now the average velocity will be the total displacement, minus 5, divided by the total time, which is 8. So minus 5 divided by 8 gets us minus 0 0.625 metres per second. That's the average velocity. The average speed is the uh, total distance, 25 metres, divided by the total time. So 25 divided by 8 is 3.125 metres per second. Okay, So that's how you can see velocity and speed differing.